So Parkinson's is a neurological <laughs> disorder where your body stops producing or has a problem re receiving um, the neurotransmitter dopamine. And so essentially what that does is it has problems going through and communicating with your brain and your muscles. It's all through neuropathways. And so it's pretty much like canceling the signaling molecules. So it would be as if you're trying to get a letter from the US Post Office to your house and the all the little cars broke down that were delivering your letters. And that's our pre-med student. <laughs> I came home one evening and Quentin was sitting on the front porch rocking with a glass of wine, which is our favorite thing in the world to do together. And I'm like, wow, how nice. You know, he's early on, he's home early, you know, on the afternoon. So I grabbed my glass of wine, joined him on the porch, and we start rock we started just rocking and talking about our day and he said, I have something to tell you. And he said I said, What? He said, I have Parkinson's. But he actually had I uh, started been experiencing a little bit of uh, finger tremor and we talked about it and he in his annual physicals his physician said oh it's an essential tremor nothing to worry about but it didn't go away and we you know so he uh, made an appointment with a motion disorder specialist and that's how he was diagnosed so um, it's been four and a half years uh, you know he'll be, it'll be five years his diagnosis in the fall and um, the shock is gone, and, and you know we, um, I I think that we have approached this in a way that um, is good for our family. The interesting thing is when I'm with strangers, is when I'm with uh, like in a meeting with uh, some prospective clients or something, and, and all of a sudden a stutter comes up, you know, and everybody kind of stares at you for a second, and so you don't know whether to say, oh, by the way, I got Parkinson's. <laughs> You know, or whether to just to, just to work on way through it. So, so I kind of have to read the situation before I before I know what to say. I think it's definitely brought us closer. Um, you know, those kind of just... things in a weird way always do, but it's been a silver lining. It has put all of everything in perspective. When my mother told me that my father had Parkinson's disease, um, it was it was a little scary because we had never really looked at that disease or thought of it. You do have to start making adjustments because you don't want to have the disease cause something else like a broken hip or a fall or an accident in a car. You have to be really realistic about what you're capable of doing. I was uh, golfing with some of my friends and uh, they asked me why I was limping like I was and I, I didn't realize I was limping but I was, apparently I was limping and dragging my feet a little bit. So I went to uh, physicians, to a primary care physician to see what, uh, what they thought it was and he, he didn't figure it out so um, I came to a neurologist here at Oshner and right away he told me I had Parkinson's disease. It, it takes a little bit of your zest away from life, but you have to realize you have to keep going on and, you, and you've got to be motivated and um, get up every day and do your thing. I've, I've had an incredible life. I mean, I've done some wonderful things in my life. I've, I've, I've experienced some incredible stuff. I've got the most wonderful, beautiful, supportive wife and the greatest daughters that a man could ever ask for and uh, and I've been I've been lucky uh, I had I had parents that uh, maybe believed that you could do anything you wanted in life you just put your mind to and go do it and so uh, and so it's so all I followed that example with my life and uh, I have no regrets it really hasn't affected much that we do um, I'm 67 years old I was 60 no you're not I'm 74 years old. Yeah. Was, <laughs> he was, wishes he was 67. I was 67 when I was diagnosed. That's, that's it. what I was trying to say. So yeah. I think people, you know, need to hold on to that hope that there will be a cure and to keep persevering. 
I mean, there's four main categories of to be diagnosed, and you may only have two signs of all four, and someone else may have the exact opposite two symptoms. I, mean, I think the Michael J. Fox Foundation is doing phenomenal work in the field of Parkinson's research. If he's moving slow, and then I don't want to leave him, and so I have to walk with him. You can't just leave me alone. The knowledge about Parkinson's, it really is power to enjoy life more, and um, that's what we hope to accomplish. My dad is really funny, that's <laughs> all he talks about. He's like, I guess it's because he's worried people are gonna see him, you know, circling his fingers or shuffling, and he's a very proud man, and he was, you know, in great shape. He was a high school 800 champion, and then my sons are, are big runners, and so when he's at the track meets, which he would always make, you know, even though it was difficult for him, if he had to go in the grass fields and with a walker, he would he would still go. But he used to tell everybody he was a runner, and he was like, "I have that, I have that Michael Fox disease," and he would tell everybody, you know, "That's why I'm walking this way. That's why I need my walker." And you know, I have this little thing, and I don't know what causes it. I can't stop it. But um, you know, he was very proud and. He liked to tell people that he had the Michael Fox disease, and I'm like, Dad, it's Michael J. Fox. It's to be optimistic and to look on the brighter side and to take each day as a new day and make the best of that day that you have today. And that's really all God promises us. <laughs>